Hello everyone, myself Sommeranjan Behra. Today I am going to discuss the important fossil bearing horizons of India with you. Then uh, this is this is a common geological time scale. Uh, from older to younger, I will discuss each fossil rich bearing horizons of India in this lecture. In this class, I will discuss what are the geographical locations in India which holds the rich fossil assemblages through different periods of geological time. First one is your Proterozoic Age Horizons. Okay. Uh, the uh, Bindhyan supergroup of rocks, it holds a rich amount of uh, Proterozoic faunas uh, such as in uh, Faun Limestone uh, in Khenjia Formation. It holds stomatolites like Conophyton Cylindricus, Polenia Columnarisis. Polenia sp, these are different stromatolite fossils which are preserved in on limestone in Kenja formation. Then next is uh, your Suket cell in Koimur group of Vindan supergroup that holds different brachiopod fossils of Proterozoic age which are uh, Formoria and Akrothe. Then next uh, is your Paleozoic uh, fossil bearing horizons of India. Uh, these uh, rocks are mainly uh, they are uh, deposited uh, in Kashmir region. Uh, the age of these rocks uh, are permocarboniferous, and uh, those two uh, fossil uh, rich horizons uh, or formations are known as Serigantharis limestone and Fenestella cell. And that Serigantharis is a brachiopode, and uh, Fenestella is a polygon. In Fenestella cell, a rich assemblage of brachiopodes, corals, and trilobites are found. Then next, uh, your Mesozoic horizons. What are uh, different uh, Mesozoic horizons found in India in different locations, which are uh, rich in fossils? First is uh, your Triassic of Spiti. Spiti is uh, located in uh, Himachal Pradesh, and uh, uh, the Triassic rocks of Spiti that holds uh, rich assemblages of uh, fossils. Uh, that uh, Triassic of Spiti, the uh, type area is known as Lilang Valley, so that uh, uh, rock succession is also known as Lilang group. The chief uh, lithotypes are lim limestone and shale. Uh, rich collection of ammonites, lamellae branches, and uh, brachiopods are found in the Lilang group. This is uh, the general. Uh, stratigraphic successions of Triassic of Spiti. This is the lower part. This is the older one. This is a lower uh, part of Triassic of Spiti. There are mainly four zones. These are very much important. These four zones, uh, uh, you will get questions from these four zones uh, in your, both in your exam and uh, your gate. And those four zones are Autoceras zone, Officeras zone, Mycoceras zone, and a Hedenstromia zone. And uh, the characteristic fossils in these four zones are uh, named as Octoceras Udwadi, Officeras Sakuntala, Mycoceras Baraha, Hedenstromia. These uh, four uh, typical fossils you have to remember. These are very much important for exam point of view. Okay, then your middle one. This is your middle trisic, uh, middle successions of trisic of Sphiti that holds. Uh, uh, and different uh, rock successions such as basal muschelkalk, nodular limestone, lower muschelkalk, upper muschelkalk, then uh, downella cell, then downella limestone, and uh, these are the name of the important fossils like rinconella, uh, spiriferina, downella lamellae, downella indica. These uh, these fossil names which I have mentioned here uh, or I have written here, this will be important for you. You may find questions from uh, this. Uh, uh, fossil names. Okay, then uh, next is your upper uh, Triassic of Spiti, upper part of the Triassic of Spiti. The, these are different uh, rock formations uh, in upper part of Triassic of Spiti, and these are uh, different characteristic fossil assemblages in uh, in the upper Spiti region. Okay, we have to remember these successions uh, with important fossil names. The next important fossil bearing horizon is Jurassic of Koch. Koch is situated in Gujarat. Okay, this uh, uh, this uh, this is character uh, characterized by different fossil assemblages. Uh, there are four litho units uh, defined by Pacham Formation, Cherry Formation, 
lateral formation and umia formation pacham is the oldest and umia is the youngest formation from bottom to top the rocks uh, are uh, defined by older to younger ages then umia formation it holds williamsonia different uh, uh, plant fossils also uh, find uh, uh, we can find in umia succession uh, so the other name of umia succession is also umia plant bed okay that's why the williamsonia this is the name of uh, a gondwana flora plant that you can find in umia succession then different uh, uh, animal fossils such as trigonia ventricosa columbiceras uh, this uh, this will be you will find uh, in umia successions next is your catrol these are different uh, uh, fossils such as phylloceras catroliceras <coughs> are found in catrol formation the next one is cherry formation Cherry formation, you will find uh, different fossils such as my myoids, macrocephalites, peltoceras athleta. This is a, a, a typical fossil in cherry formation, you have to remember. Then uh, the oldest formation here is the pacham formation. Uh, here you will find uh, trigonia, carbula, sibajiceras, uh, etc. And uh, these fossil names you have to remember. Okay, these are uh, typical fossils. In Kutch region in the Jurassic successions. The next year, uh, next uh, important succession will be your uh, Jurassic of Spiti. Spiti Valley is situated uh, in Himachal Pradesh, as I have told you before. Uh, and uh, the Jurassic uh, age rocks of Spiti Valley they uh, holds numerous uh, fossil remains. Uh, there are mainly two lithovinids which holds. Uh, plenty of fossils the older one is kyoto limestone and the younger one is pt cell okay kyoto limestone uh, it holds belemnite polkakatus and megadolron lima dichrodium this is a plant fossil okay then pt cell holds uh, different uh, characteristic fossils such as pt ceras hoplites belemnite gerardi this one uh, belemnite gerardi is your uh, Characteristic fossil for spiti cells, then myoids, these names you have to remember. Okay, then uh, next uh, will be your Cretaceous of Trichinopoly. Trichinopoly is situated in Tamil Nadu. Okay, uh, Trichinopoly region. There are mainly four uh, litho units here Utatur formation, Trichinopoly formation, Arial Wood formation, and Ninur formation from older to younger, from bottom to top. Okay, Ninur formation it holds Nautilus and Cadita. Arialur, Baculites, and Graphia, these are all uh, animal fossils. Then, Trichinopoly formation, which uh, holds Placenticeras and Trigonia fossils. Okay, <laughs> Trichinopoly actually, the, 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 this uh, Trichinopoly formation uh, holds some of the fossil remains of dinosaurs also. Okay, we will uh, read, uh, read the vertebrate paleontology part where I will discuss the dinosaurs in detail. Okay, then uh, the Utatur formation. This holds uh, Nautilus, uh, this is a cephalophore, then Tibrilides, and Belemnides, then Mammites. These are uh, the fossils, uh, typical fossils in uh, Cretaceous of Trichinopoly region. Then uh, your bark bed. Um, uh, this is a very important uh, litho unit which holds uh, uh, different fossil remains. Uh, actually, uh, there are two beds uh, named Bag and Lameta, which uh, the uh, normally the students get confused with these two terms. Uh, actually, one is of marine origin and other one is of uh, freshwater origin. The Bag bed is actually of marine origin and the Lameta bed is actually of uh, freshwater origin. Okay, the Bag beds are deposited along the Narmada River Valley region. Okay. Uh, they got deposited during Turonian marine transgression. They, actually, this term Turonian it is used by European uh, geologists. Okay, in India, you can uh, compare it with Upper Cretaceous age. Okay, you can uh, say these rocks are deposited during Upper Cretaceous period. Okay, then these rocks are of marine origin. And then this is the normal uh, stratigraphic sequence for bag bed. Okay. Here uh, it is started. Uh, the basement is your Nimar sandstone with oyster beds. Okay, then uh, a marine transgression. This is the Turonian marine transgression that happened. Then the limestone uh, uh, after uh, the environment changed to 
marine uh, transgressive environment uh, the deposition of different li limestone beds happened uh, one is nodular limestone and other one is coralite coralline limestone uh, these uh, two limestone successions they holds rich amount of fossils okay and uh, this and this is the bark bed succession okay this is marine origin and uh, it is overlain by lamita bed which is of uh, fresh water origin which i have mentioned as fw okay the lamita bed is uh, a fresh water origin because here the marine regression happens okay uh, uh, at the boundary uh, it is uh, marine regression happens so the lamita bed uh, which uh, which overlains the uh, bark beds actually a fresh water uh, origin uh, succession okay then the lamita bed is overlain by different uh, deccan lava flows okay then different fossils uh, uh, which uh, which uh, which are found uh, in uh, bark bed uh, in in nodular limestone and different fossils such as hemiaster protoplacentiseras polyoposeras these are the different fossils found in uh, nodular limestone okay then in coralline limestone we can uh, find uh, different bryozoans okay such as serinophora dysphyre okay next is your lamata bed okay this uh, lamata bed actually this succession is uh, a boundary demarcator of kt means cretaceous tertiary boundary demarcator here uh, the, um, uh, as uh, i have taught you or i will teach you in uh, your uh, mass extinction class there uh, you will get to know that uh, during cretaceous tertiary boundary the uh, extinction of dinosaur also happened okay during this period and this is a succession which belongs to that period of time okay uh, the lamata bed is a fresh water deposit as i have discussed here the lamata bed is a fresh water deposit due to marine recreation okay then uh, uh, some important uh, characteristic of lamata bed this is uh, associated with infratrapians and intertrapians okay in in, in uh, after few slides i will discuss what are infratrapians and intertrapians okay uh, these are mainly associated with deccan trough lava okay since the lamata bed uh, is exposed uh, uh, mainly in uh, madhya pradesh uh, so uh, there you can find uh, numerous flow of lava uh, during the deccan volcanism okay so uh, you will find uh, um, the major infra and intertrapians in lamata beds okay then this is a kt boundary demarcator succession okay this uh, for uh, this uh, lamata bed this demarcates the cretaceous tertiary boundary okay the dinosaur skeletal remains found here because uh, during the kt boundary succession the dinosaur actually got extinct then this is a common stratigraphic succession for uh, lamata bed okay this is uh, underlain by bag formation which is a marine formation i have discussed earlier then uh, different sandstone and limestone successions such as green sandstone then lower limestone then mottled nodular bed then upper limestone then upper calcareous limestone these are different uh, litho units which constitutes the <coughs> lamata bed okay these are different uh, dinosaur fossils the, this lamata bed is rich in dinosaur fossils you can see uh, dinosaur bones dinosaur eggs and different bivalves they are found in uh, the lamata bed succession so, okay this is overlain by deccan traps these are uh, different uh, uh, the name of different dinosaur eggs and fossils found uh, in uh, different locations of lamata bed succession uh, the lamatosaurus and titanosaurus and these are uh, different uh, uh, dinosaur associated fossils which is uh, happen to be found in anjar and kutch region of gujarat in bag cave in jabalpur in madhya pradesh then uh, coprolite this is the fossil excreta okay this is the ex excretory part of the dinosaur fossil excreta of dinosaurs they you can find the coprolites in chindwada region of maharashtra and madla region of madhya pradesh you have to uh, you have to remember these uh, names this will be very much important for your exam point of view then uh, next i will discuss the in, uh, important uh, uh, another important uh, fossil bearing horizons of india actually intertrapians and infratrapians these terms are mainly in 
in in indian context you can uh, say these uh, terms are mainly associated with uh, uh, decantra volcanism okay these two terms i will uh, discuss in detail then this is a uh, schematic diagram which showing the physical position of infratrapian intertrapian and supratrapian uh, beds with respect to decan volcanic flows actually these uh, trapian beds uh, the name trapian means uh, the sedimentary beds which uh, which uh, occurs inside the decan lava flows okay uh, based on different positions uh, in the succession they are named as inter or in intra or in sorry inter or infra or supra trapians okay based uh, based on their positions inside the lava flow okay here you can see at the bottom part uh, this is uh, infra trapian this is called as infra trapian if uh, it is situated inside the lava flow then uh, it is known as inter trapian then it is uh, at the top of the uh, lava flow it, it will be termed as supra trapian okay uh, this uh, these uh, these rocks are gondwana supergroup rocks okay here you can see uh, normal faulting horse gramin like structure here uh, you can see because uh, the uh, decan traps, uh, uh, the decan traps are uh, underlain by Gondwana supergroup of rocks. You can find numerous horse and gravel structure and normal faulting in this area. Okay. Then intertrapians. Uh, the intertrapian sedimentary beds are found mainly along southern, eastern, northeastern, and northwestern margins of main decan volcanic provinces. Okay. Uh, the well known inter uh, intertrapian sections uh, are reported from uh, these are some important locations where you can find the intertrapian beds in india uh, mainly in that uh, maharashtra and uh, madhya pradesh region okay these are some of the important locations you can go through it and you can remember it these are the different locations okay uh, <coughs> This is the map. Uh, the star marks are different intertrapian beds of India. Okay, and they, these are different uh, important locations where you can find the intertrapian beds. Okay, inside the intertrapian beds, and there are many uh, uh, dinosaur fossils also found. You can uh, go through these maps uh, and uh, you can remember the important locations where uh, different intertrapians and dinosaur fossils are found. Then the depositional environment for intertrapian beds uh, are mainly uh, freshwater lacustrine deposit. Okay, the, the environment of formation is freshwater lake environment. Okay, then the important lithologies will be siltstones, mudstones, sandstones, clays, marls, shales, frequently fossiliferous sort, and very rarely the limestone bed. Okay, then infratrapians. The infratrapian beds uh, they they uh, they got uh, a, they got an extension uh, from Balan Balasinor of Gujarat in the west to Ambikapur of Madhya Pradesh in the east and Sagar of Madhya Pradesh in the north to uh, Dungragao, Pisdura, Maharashtra and Marepali of Andhra Pradesh in the south. Okay, these are the different extensions of infratrapian beds. Here from the map you can see uh, in uh, here in Andhra Pradesh in south in uh, um, some part of uh, Madhya Pradesh in the north and in west uh, it is from Gujarat to Maharashtra okay you can see the different extensions here then the inter uh, intertrapian beds uh, which are otherwise known as lamata formation consist of sandstones clays limestones and marls uh, I have already, already discussed about the lamata formations that are underlain by Precambrian basement rocks uh, uh, or the Gondwana, this is wrong actually, or, or the Gondwana supergroup of rocks. Okay. From time to time, actually, uh, different uh, environments of uh, different geological environments are suggested by different uh, authors who, who have done uh, research on uh, the infratrapian beds of uh, Deccan volcanic province. Okay. And the, the, there is a range of environments for. Uh, formation of the infratrapian beds uh, which have been suggested uh, by different authors okay that are uh, 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 some authors suggested continental environments some suggested fluvial to salomarine and some suggested salomarine only salomarine environment and so 
some suggested tidal to estuarine uh, environment for intratropian formation okay this is the uh, geological map uh, for uh, locating different infratropian beds in these black dots they are representing the different infratropian beds and uh, along with different uh, dinosaur fossils okay then uh, these are important uh, fossils reported from inter and intratropians of Deccan Deccan trough lava okay these are uh, some of the main uh, fossils which are found in uh, inside the lava flows of uh, mm, inside the lava flow which sedimentary rock which are deposited as in, in inter or intratropians we can find uh, and uh, these following fossils such as freshwater feces amphibians uh, like frogs uh, <coughs> then lizards then turtles fossils then uh, different dinosaur fossils and body parts like bones teeth and the cell of dinosaur eggs then uh, next is your palmoxylon uh, the one uh, flora named palmoxylon uh, we can find uh, in uh, different uh, uh, inter or intratropians then uh, one uh, invertebrate fossil named phyja principi and that, uh, that is a gastropod uh, we can find uh, uh, inside the traps okay <laughs> thank you this uh, this uh, lecture actually this is a overall uh, overall discussion about a different uh, i can uh, uh, here actually in this lecture uh, i i my purpose of teaching is to correlate the paleontology uh, with stratigraphy okay um, based on different uh, time frame uh, different time periods of geological time scale how different rock types which holds rich fossil assemblages in india they are uh, uh, they are distributed whole across india actually uh, that was my purpose of teaching uh, in this lecture okay i uh, i think uh, this lecture is very much in, uh, this will be very helpful to you and uh, this uh, this uh, this will be very informative to you uh, and it will help in your uh, competitive exams okay that's all thank you